Today we are diving into something really exciting, a powerful new combo in the world of open source AI. We are talking about browser use working with DeepSeek's R1 model. This is a game changer for automation and I can't wait to show you how it works. So the last couple of weeks have been huge for open source. First off, we had the release of browser use. Think of it as a super smart robot for your web browser. It automates pretty much any web task you can imagine. And it's incredibly accurate, way better than older tools. Plus, it can even handle some desktop tasks with prompts. And the best part, it plays nice with powerful language models like Llama and DeepSeek. Speaking of DeepSeek, they just dropped the R1 model and it's blowing people away. It's an open source language model that actually outperforms some of the big paid models on a bunch of tests. They even have a smaller version you can run on your own computer. This is huge for accessibility. Now here's where the things get really interesting. Imagine combining automation skills of browser use with DeepSeek's R1's brain power. You've got an incredibly powerful, completely free automation tool. For example, you could have it automatically tweet something and because it's using R1 model, it actually thinks about what it's doing, making it much more accurate. It's funny OpenAI just released their own web automation tool called Operator, but it costs $200 a month. Browser use is completely free and open source, plus it has some key advantages. It shows whole web page, not just a small window, and it works directly with your browser without any logins. You can even build it into your own apps. Ok, let's get into how to install this. You'll need a few things, Git, Python and a library called UV for environment variables. Playwright and VS Code. I'll put all the links below. Once you have those, here's the quick version. First open the Visual Studio Code, search for terminal command and then set command prompt as your default terminal because it would be used in the next steps. Then go to the GitHub repository link mentioned in the description, copy the link from there and Go to the Visual Studio Code again and search for git clone command. It will ask for the link, paste the link there and press enter and it will clone the repository for you. Now you have the code in your VS Code. Next step is to install the UV command. Go to the installation page, copy the command for Windows, open PowerShell from the start menu and then paste the command. It will install the UV library for you. Now once the UV is installed, you can go to the repository page and copy the command for installing the python in the environment. And next what you have to do is activate the environment using the next command. So we'll see web UI environment is activated. Now we'll install the requirements using the command again available on the repository. And it will install all the prerequisites for running the Browser use finally will run the browser use using this command. Now you can see browser use is running. Now the DeepSeek R1 API is already very cheap but if you are just testing this, I will tell you a method to get this API for free. Cluster.ai is providing $100 of free credits. Yes, they have the DeepSeek R1 model and they are giving $100 of free credits which means that you can use the model for a bunch of times like you can generate about 100 million tokens which is pretty insane and you can use it with anything. So once you have created account on cluster.ai, just go to the playground page, select the model as DeepSeek and then copy the model name and the base URL from the playground page and paste it in the browser use. You will also need to generate an API key that we will be generating by going to the API keys page and then click on issue new API key and then you can give it any name and then click on create key. Once the key is created, you can copy it and then again paste it in the LLM configuration page. Another important thing is that DeepSeek is a non-vision model and it cannot see images. So we'll just uncheck this checkbox and then we'll go to the run agent window and then we'll start our agent with our default command which is go to google.com and then search for open ai so guys honestly speaking deepseek r1 is not a good model for creating a ui based agent because it reasons a lot and it thinks a lot and it makes the entire experience of the browser agent really slow so what i had to do now was it is to test it using the gemini 2.0 flash api which is quite good at these things so let's test it with the google gemini 2.0 flash 
now google gemini is a vision model which means it can see things so we will check this box and now we'll go to the google ai studio we'll click on get api key and then we'll click on create api key and then we can create the api key within the project that you have already if you don't have any you can create a new project and then create your api and then finally copy the api and this api we would be pasting in our llm configuration by selecting the gemini 2.0 flash model once we enter the api key we are ready to go now under browser settings you have an option to use your own browser or it runs its own browser instance which is more secure so i would not advise you to use your own browser until unless you know what you are doing so let's go ahead and run the agent with gemini model let's see how it performs now the agent is quite faster with gemini model because it doesn't think at each step like your deep seek model which reasons at every step we do not require so much reasoning in a browser agent now let's try a complicated case where we would ask it to find the cheapest flights from goa to delhi on 10th of february now you can see it has googled the flight website it has opened goibibo it is closing the pop-up it is entering the source city now as delhi and now it is entering the destination city as Goa and now it is go opening the calendar and it is selecting the 10th of February as the date and it has clicked on search and it is successfully found the tickets for Delhi to Goa on 10th of January 2025 so it has given us the final answer and it has given us three options with time and the layover city for it and the amount of layover it would be there so this is a good example to understand the capabilities of a browser agent and using this principle we can ask it to do anything which can be done in a browser future is exciting guys if you found this helpful please give this video a like and subscribe for more ai content i put all the links in the description